Hello, my friends. Today is Flag Day. Today is also my sister's birthday. She is 34 years old. Happy birthday, sis. Yes, I have a sister. No, you don't see her. Yes, she's very private. And also, today is Donald Trump's birthday. <laughs> and Flag Day. Yay! And Donald Trump had, I think, one of his worst birthdays ever. There's tons of controversy swirling around him, as per usual, but today it also was made public that he has been sued by the state of New York. Not just him, his crooked kids, all of them, have been sued for scamming. Specifically, the Trump Foundation has been accused of just doing all sorts of shady things. <sighs> I'll have the link below uh, for this story and for everything that I talk about as per usual. So if you want to read in depth all of the accusations, of course, Donald Trump is fighting back, uh, you know, d double dipping. He's been accused of and other things. He's saying that, you know, um, he's not going to settle and they did nothing wrong. And blah, 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 blah. I got to keep this uh, PG because it's on YouTube. <laughs> So I can't curse or, um, you know, do anything inappropriate. But in keeping this PG, I'm going to sing happy birthday to Donald Trump. Happy birthday, squirrel you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, and if you were curious, this person on my t-shirt is Lena Dunham. I've got a bunch of Lena Dunhams on me. Uh, anyways, in celebration of the dotard's birthday, he just turned 72 years old, Chrissy Teigen and John Legend have made a donation in his name to the ACLU, the American Civil Liberties Union, helping dreamers, helping LGBT people, helping all of those that Donald Trump basically wants to squash. They donated $72,000, and they're encouraging everybody else who can and feels so inclined to donate something, whether that be $72, $7.20, whatever you can. Kudos to them. I'm not even really going to call that a troll. I mean, it is kind of a troll, but it's more than a troll. It's really doing good and hopefully inspiring others to do good as well. I'm in a good mood today. I'm in a good mood today because I did something that was causing me a lot of uh, worry. And even though I didn't get the outcome that I wanted, at least I did what my gut was telling me to and what I should have done earlier. Rawr. And, oh, and also, this is so cool. Oh my gosh. I was on Instagram Live this morning and Selma Blair was watching. Iconic actress. Hard to say what my favorite Selma Blair movie is. Was it Legally Blonde? Was it Cruel Intentions? Was it Hellboy? She's been in some of my favorite films. A Dirty Shame, John Waters movie. Also another iconic film. Anyways, Selma was watching me on Instagram Live and she revealed that she loves to listen to my podcast. A celebrity listens to me talking about celebrities and other things. Uh, and if you have not ever listened to my podcast yet, please do. It's a totally different experience from these YouTube videos. And honestly, I think it's better. Well, I wouldn't say that. I think this, this is pretty good and I'm awesome here. But I thoroughly enjoy Chris Booker. He brings so much to it. Our dynamic is special. And I guarantee you, you will love the podcast if you haven't listened yet or your money back. You can listen for free to the Perez Hilton podcast with Chris Booker on iTunes or directly at perezpodcast.com. That's PerezPodcast.com. And, um, yeah. All right. On to other news. From Donald Trump-related news to his MAGA-loving, deplorable Roseanne, she went 
on a huge Twitter spree yesterday and today, uh, not quitting Twitter like she said she was going to, and basically calling you dumb. Yes, you. She's calling you dumb. Unless you realized that she wasn't being racist. She's trying to spin it now that the tweet that got her fired and the Roseanne show canceled was really about anti-Semitism and that those who did not understand that were low IQ individuals. You expect us to swallow that? Not even I could swallow that, and I can swallow a lot, as we saw earlier in the week when I swallowed my fist. If you missed that video, you missed out on something. <laughs> I mean, I don't even want to read all of her tweets. They're so insane. She's talking about how she's also watching uh, Malcolm X documentary and how she's all about civil rights and against racism. She must be popping them ambient, like, a lot. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. All right, enough from that world. Let's talk some strictly entertainment news. Although, hello, Donald Trump is a former reality TV star. Don't you forget it. Sophia Bush has been in several successful TV shows from... Uh, One Tree Hill to uh, Chicago PD, I think was the most recent one. Anyways, she was on Andy Cohen's radio show and has been making a lot of headlines because of the many things she said on that show. First, she talked about her ex-husband and One Tree Hill co-star, Chad Michael Murray, saying that she felt pressured into marrying him. Specifically, that he was very rude and unprofessional on set and that those in positions of power would tell her things like, oh, you're the only one that could get him to show up on time, and blah, 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 blah. Anywho, that's her truth. Well, of course, not of course, but actually surprisingly, Chad Michael Murray was not happy about this. He's mad and his publicist released a statement saying, quote, the story is ludicrous. Chad conducts himself in a completely professional manner and would never marry anyone for any reason but love. 13 years since his divorce from Sophia, he's a very happy family life with his wife and children and blah, 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 blah. Like I said, that was her truth. That doesn't need to be your truth. And personally, I would have not even commented on it. If you really do have a happy family life and yada yada. I mean, I guess maybe I understand if they feel like his professional reputation is being tarnished, which it probably was. Yeah, no, it's one of those situations where you damned if you do, damned if you don't. Also, Sophia Bush talked about that one time that the, according to her, uh, former EP of One Tree Hill, Mark Schwann, grabbed her butt. What did she do? She punched him. That's what she claims. She was raised right by her mama. <laughs> her New Jersey mama, she pointed uh, out to Andy Cohen. All right, on to other news. An update on Farrah Abram, who was arrested earlier in the week for disorderly conduct, trespassing, and assaulting somebody at the Beverly Hills Hotel. Well, the former teen mom star's publicist says... Quote, uh, at this time, we thank everyone for Farrah's concern and will assure that when she is released, Farrah will release a statement on her behalf. <laughs> Farrah will return, whatever. It's, it, this release, this statement was so grammatically incorrect. The publicist was saying there's two sides to every story. The problem is we saw video. There is video of Farrah acting a drunken, belligerent fool. There's really no way to spin the truth. If I ever get arrested, which I have not been, I mentioned that earlier when I did the video with my mom this week. If I get arrested, I'm not going to be fighting with the police officers. I might cry, although I hear from friends that work in law enforcement that actually crying might have the opposite effect. So just maybe be very meek and I don't know. 
Well, hopefully I won't get arrested. I mean, actually, no, I really would love to be arrested once, but for something really awesome, like protesting Donald Trump or, you know, fighting for something I believe in, a very minor arrest. <laughs> Uh, on to some couples news. Couples news segment. John Cena and Nikki Bella were spotted out to dinner in San Diego this week having a heated argument. And also their publicist, their manager, you know, clearly is planting stories to a new story is that Nikki does not trust John Cena, blah, 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 blah. Ugh. I know they've got a reality TV show to promote. Actually, you know what? Screw it. It's working. It's working. And they are positioning themselves to be the new Kardashians. And it helps that, you know, it's not just Nikki Bella. She's got a sister and there's a crew. That's what makes a successful reality TV show. You need more than just Spencer and Heidi, you know. You need a crew. And actually... Uh, I'll speak about Spencer and Heidi in a little bit, but before that, another uh, couple's item tidbit. Uh, Brad Pitt is said to be doing better uh, since news broke of his custody dispute with Angelina Jolie. However, he unfortunately is no longer still dating or involved with in any way that MIT professor. Wah, wah. Um, all right. More couples news. Ariana Grande and Pete Davidson are being real messy in their love. They were uh, together at a screening of Hereditary in New York and were obnoxious. They went to the movies on Wednesday night and they were laughing and like talking throughout the film. If I was there, I would not have put up with that. Hello, I'm trying to enjoy a damn movie. Shh. Scream all you want. Be in it. But don't laugh and talk throughout a horror film. I take my horror movies seriously. And by the way, I have been in three horror films. I was in Most Likely to Die with Heather Morris. I was a lead in that. Check that out. I was in um, Campfire Stories with Jamie Lynn Siegler. Check that out. And I was in WTF. Three horror films and I would love to do more. Putting that energy out there. I love horror movies. All right, on to the news I promised about Spencer Pratt and Kristen Cavagheri and Heidi Montag. In a new interview, Kristen once again is blaming Spencer and Heidi for the Hills reunion not happening. Because she claims that E wanted to do a, a Hills reunion, but Spencer and Heidi had signed a deal with MTV. All right, I guess that makes sense. Unfortunate. I would have loved a uh, Hills reunion. And in more TV, reality TV news, Mama June says that she's gained a lot of her weight back because of her health issues. She is going blind, lost eyesight in one eye, and is losing the eyesight in another. And you know what? I actually believe her. When you're going through major stressors in life, like health issues, that can trigger both extremes. Like, Extreme weight gain and extreme weight loss. So you know what? I don't really like her and a lot of the decisions she's made in her life, but I'm sending her positive and healing vibes. And also, oh my gosh, you guys have to see this. I found an old video of mine from 2004, back when I was on reality TV. It's such a blast from the past. If you want to see 2004 Mario, before there even was a Perez, on this fitness reality show called From Flab to Fab. I just posted it today as a Throwback Thursday video on my family channel, my personal channel. So the link to that will be down below. Check it out. It's such a laugh and also inspiring. I love you. I thank you. You know the drill. If you watch this video, and first of all, if you watched it to the very end, because this is a longer one, Actually, you know, they're kind of all about 12, 13, 14, 15 minutes. But if you watch the very end, I really appreciate you. Mwah. Also, hit the like button. Leave a comment. Share this. Please tell your friends. I really want to grow this. I work so hard on this. I make videos every single day. So if you're not subscribed to this channel, please hit the follow button and stay amazing. You are awesome. I love you. Don't let anyone bring you down. <laughs>